You are now watching Tales from the Grid. For SDCC 2024, Super 7 revealed two Mighty Morphin products, a Megazord t-shirt and a Lord Zed glow-in-the-dark figure. Super 7 has made variants of several figures before, but this Lord Zed is the second glow-in-the-dark Power Rangers figure Super 7 has made. The first figure was the glow-in-the-dark Green Ranger, which makes more sense to produce because he's green, and when he lost his powers, he did glow. The glow-in-the-dark Green Ranger came with less accessories than the original figure and was $65 compared to the original's $55. To my knowledge, there is no correlation with Lord Zed glowing in the dark or turning green. Just like the glow-in-the-dark Green Ranger, this Lord Zed comes with fewer accessories and costs more than the original. Fans of Lord Zed get another figure. This glow-in-the-dark Lord Zed figure costs $65 whereas the original figure costs 55. This figure comes with one less accessory than the original. Repainting a pre-existing figure is a good way to sell the same figure twice. I don't know if these glow-in-the-dark figures are fan requested or just a way to generate more money from pre-existing figures, but I'd like to see focus and resources put toward more Zord figures. Will I buy? No. As they have done for SDCC before, Super 7 has released a t-shirt featuring a pixelated Dino Megazord. This art style is reminiscent of retro video games. The lower half of the shirt is blank. The price is high. T-shirts are low-risk products that appeal to a large audience. I like the design of this shirt. I'd give it a thumbs up. Will I buy? I would if the price was lower. I wouldn't mind if someone got this for me as a present. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.